Yeah, we, we hadn't seen the pitch until we got here today. It's been undercover for two days. Um, and generally, we just thought it's the third game on this pitch in the last five or six days. Um, it's a huge pitch. Uh, you generally think Pakistan's spinners are a big strength of this, so we tried to make first use of the wicket. Um, we sort of knew there might be a chance rain, but we also had some reports saying that it might come after 11 o'clock. Um, and the game was scheduled to be finished at about 9 or 9.30, whatever it's going to be. So, look, hindsight's a great side. It didn't work out for us today. Not a concern. Uh, generally, our side's played spin really well. Um, we we pride ourselves in the way we play against spin. Um, the way we played India in terms of the one-day cricket in India, we played really well against Indian spinners in Indian conditions um, in the one-day campaigns. We've beaten Sri Lanka under their conditions in so... It's not a concern for me. Conditions suited them today, and they played, they bowled really well. And you've got to give Pakistan spinners credit; they bowled really well today. I think the disappointing fact is that n one of our top four, I suppose, got through the new ball to look after the spinners. Um, so every time there was a new batter coming in facing the spin, and that's always going to be tough to do against quality spinners. <laughs> Pakistan, are, I mean, they're, they're a proud cricketing nation. I know when they have a bad game, everybody jumps on their back and says how bad they are. I can tell you now the opposition don't think they're bad at all. They're a dangerous side. They've got some world-class players. They're always going to be a threat. No complacency on our side. Um, we played a game of cricket. Pakistan played better than us. It's had absolutely nothing to do with complacency today as far as I'm concerned. No, not, not, not at all. Uh, we know that there's a lot of talking about us having not won a competition for a long time. Um, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's outside of what we can control. We've just got to focus on playing good cricket and preparing well. We haven't played good cricket today. We've got to take that on the chin and, and acknowledge that our performance today wasn't as good as what we can put together. Um, so we've got some thinking to do and some planning to do going into Sunday's game. No, not at all. He's a quality player. Every, <laughs> everybody gets first ball. It's just taken him 200 games, so I suppose. Um, there's always going to be question marks. I've got no concerns with Avery Villiers. Uh, we'll obviously... He did pick up a little bit of a niggle with his hamstring today, but the medical team will have a look at him. I can't comment on it until they've had a look at it. Um, but by no means concerned, I'm expecting him to be in a big performance on Sunday. He's that type of player that when the team needs him, he'll, he'll, he'll turn it up on Sunday, I'm sure about that. I'll have to sit with the selectors, there's no doubt about that. Um, uh, we always pick what we think is our best 11 on the day and very much dependent on conditions. We consider should we play a second spinner today because it was a used wicket. We considered should we play another all-rounder to give us a bit more batting depth because we thought the wicket's going to be a little bit slower. So we took all of that into account. And we'll take it all into account when we get to the Oval on Sunday. So um, we'll sit down closer to the time with the selectors and come up with what we feel is the strongest 11 in those particular conditions.